Hey guys, and welcome back to Front Mission. When we last left off, we were saving Peewee. Now that's out of the way, we have everybody upgraded and ready to go. Now, um, if we go to setup here a minute, you'll notice that if we cycle through some of these, as a rule, the guys that are carrying the uh, machine guns uh, now actually have the upgraded rocket launchers as well because they had a little bit of extra power left over so we've got kind of a mix of match of uh, our sniper rifle I say sniper loosely they don't exactly have a long range it's the same range as every other weapon um, <clears throat> our snipers are still rocking the bones whereas our MG guys are now rocking the Galvados which is quite a bit better so anyway let's go to the military ward and pick up our next mission we'll settle down in this town until we get further orders you're free to enjoy a bit of R&R as long as you stay in town woohoo my favorite words rest and recreation hey Natalie why don't you come with me we can have some fun that sounds iffy Roid. He looks like uh, Guile from Street Fighter, and it took me ages before I actually realized he's got a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. Do you have any plans for the sleeve, Roid? Not really. Then let me show you around. I used to come here quite a lot. Ah, oh, thanks, Natalie. Natalie, give a guy a break, huh? Get out of here. Right, okay, so... There's not a huge amount we can really do here. We could head to the arena and find Mi Hua, who is our next character. Do I know you? Ha! I knew it! You're the guy from the picture Karen showed me. <gasps> Karen? How do you know Karen? Yeah, I was in the same hospital as her two months ago. She told me all about you. Two months ago? Where? Which hospital were you in? Whoa, hold on there, mister. I can't tell you that for free. Tell you what, fight me in the arena, and if you beat me, I'll take you there personally. How does that sound? Uh, well, I guess we don't really have a lot of choice. So, me here is actually going to be one of our main um, members here. She's actually really good. Okay, I've registered us both for an unranked arena fight. So let me know when you're ready, and may the best one win. <laughs> You can't be serious. Don't let her talk you into this, Royd. Why, Natalie? What's wrong with a little bit of friendly arena combat? There you are. I hope you don't mind being beat by a girl. Well, no matter your gender, you'll be going down in flames. Now, um, I generally win against her, but you can actually completely balk this up and lose, obviously. Let's open up with the egret and make her regret. <laughs> yes, well, um, let's continue with that strategy. We should easily be leveled for her. We've almost disabled both of her arms. Uh, oh God, I don't think she has a hope actually. Interesting. If you disable both of the arms, um, you win by default. Yeah, she must be really low level. Come to think of it, I don't know if I've ever lost against her, actually. Oh, you're killing me. Come on, Royd. Send her down. Give her the bone. There we go. She didn't like the bone. Plus 50 XP. We'll take it. Alright, not bad. Congratulations, you've won the match. Now, we don't actually get anything for that, apart from uh, me, Hua, on our side. Okay, I guess you're pretty good. My name is Mi Hua. A deal's a deal, Mi. Take me to Karen. Yeah, sure. Say, you know what? Why don't you put me in your squad? What? Are you out of your mind? You're mercenaries, right? You're all traveling all over this island, right? Come on, please. You really do know where Karen is, don't you? You're not lying to me. I'm telling you the truth. I was in Grey Rock Hospital, a few miles north of here. I'll take you there if you let me join your squad. Fine, you're in. Alright, so we now have me. 
I like her. She's cool. She will be a staple. She's got her own ulterior motives, which will slowly become apparent as we play through it. Anywho, uh, trouble is, we now have her. And I'm guessing her rig is going to be massively out of date. Oi, what can I do for ya? Uh, you, my good friend, can slap together another Wanza for me. We'll go for the Karen Crows or Carrion Crows special, I suppose. Uh, actually, actually, she's in a full Husky uh, Mark IV rig without the backpack. All right, that's not bad. We can work with that. Uh, so what? Is, so she's good with long, and her short. She's better with melee, but. Melee's kind of pants. No, well, <laughs> melee isn't pants. Um, it can actually be really quite good, but I just don't use it, you know. So let's give her the pat fifty-five, and in the right hand, what well, she's got the cemetery, uh, which is actually quite an old. She's not that old. The pat fifty does an extra one damage per round, which does add up. Right, left shoulder. Let's... Oh, she can have a bone. No, she can have a Galvados. Right, let's get her strapped. Now, the only other thing we need to do uh, is make sure she's got a full complement of healing items. Which, we have to do that here. Set up. Ah, shit, we didn't change our colour either. Uh, we might be able to do that here. There we go. Items. Yeah, so she actually needs another repair pack. Alright, that's cool. We can sort that out. Let's give her a splash of white paint. Like that. And there you go. Welcome to the team. I would say make yourself useful. Um, but she will. She's good. So, anyway. Back to the military ward, I suppose. Why don't you check on your ride until we get further orders? Alright, well, I guess we can't. We still have to do stuff at the Minstrel. Ah, let's talk to Alda. You're a soldier? Boy? Or are you just playing? Yeah, he's just gonna say that. Now, what we can do, I think we can exit. Now we have our friend. Hey, Royd, wait up. You're not getting rid of us that easy. We'll go with you, Captain. Wherever you're going, it's bound to be more fun than here. I'm going with you too. Mercenary Holiday. Lifestyle section. 1500 words. It'll be a puff piece. <laughs> now, wait just a second. Everyone, you're disobeying direct orders. Yeah, fuck your orders. Right, let's get out of here to Grey Rock. Now, once we've done this mission, we can actually get another secret character. There's actually quite a few secret characters in this game. Uh, we're going to try and get them all. I've got a guide in front of me. I think there's only one that I missed when I was playing it myself. Now, this mission can actually be kind of rough. So, we're going to drop a save. UCS troops. They're attacking the city. Where's the local defense? You there. You're OCU, right? I need backup. We must defend the city. Ah, Paul. We're en route. Hang on. Captain, we can't do this. We'll be disobeying direct orders. The colonel will have our heads if he finds out. Have our heads. Interesting uh, line of... Uh, interesting fa uh, phrase there. Uh, we're already in hot water for being here, so we're not going to run. Menhua, where's the hospital? It's that big building over there. Grey Rock Hospital. Keith, help me stop this. Huh, a job's a job. We get paid for each kill regardless, so... I'm with Keith. Fine, I did warn you. Enemy reinforcements sighted. Let them come. We'll be done here soon. Alright, well, we are going to take everybody, all six of us. This potentially could be rough. We do have Paul over here, though, who is assisting the defense on his lonesome. We will uh, be recruiting him, of course. 
So let's go back up pool. Now this level there is a fuck factor. And that is we're on a timer and I'm not 100% sure how the timer works. And what I mean by a timer is <sighs> the main enemy uh, dude, Driscoll, is in his own battle mech. Now, after a certain amount of turns, he's going to start hunting us down. Now, if we don't finish him, uh, or we can't finish him, he, he will cream us. If we um, don't clear the board of all enemies, he, yeah, he becomes a problem. And he will kind of... We are going to drop a save, actually, thinking about it. He will kind of, like, one-shot us. Which is bad. All right? We're going to have a bad time. So, anyway, let's back up Paul. Paul is a melee character. He's going to go right into the thick of it. Probably get himself killed. So, you need to be doing this as fast as we possibly can. Now, it doesn't matter if Paul goes down. Obviously, I'd rather he didn't because that's a lot of extra firepower he's got. If nothing else, he's going to kind of distract the enemies for us. But, yeah, as you can see, there's no real planning on his point. He's just like Leroy's into the combat, which, you know, I can respect that. Sacrifices for the Empire and all that. Right, um, so let's start peeling around here. And we can sling some rockets these guys' way. So we've got two attackers stepping up. Right, hit them with the rockets. Soften them up with a bone, and then we'll let the egret out when things get a little bit dire. Ryuju, I want you kind of to go this way. Because I really need... We've got, well, we've got two attackers there. Alright. Uh, right. Okay. We'll just start slinging rockets. Well, that was not great, Ryuji. I mean, dude, come on. Natalie, you're up. I mean... I guess... It doesn't actually tell you what terrain you're on. But we are on relatively... Um, Decent train. I do believe, actually, funny enough... Ooh, that Galvados. Uh, I do believe, funny enough... Uh, the open road... Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, the open road, somehow, is actually 15% to your cover. I've also discovered what that actually means. The plus 15% defense. It adds a plus 15 for you to miss your attacks. Now, obviously, that works both ways, but... I never really understood that. But there we go. That's how that works. So it doesn't reduce the damage per se. It just makes you... Whoa! Smoked his ass. Lovely. Yeah, it just makes you a lot less uh, likely to miss. So we've got four dudes going that way. We need to pile everybody else this way. Come on, Fred. Alright. Who is this? Mihua. Right, it's your time to shine. Get in there and start volleying. Oh, there's the commander. Let him have it with the Galvados. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Hey, she starts at level 5. That's not bad. Come on, Paul. Hold in there, brother. We do want to get that kill from Paul. Because uh, he doesn't need XP yet. Oh my god. It really is complete potluck whether you can save Paul, to be honest. Oh, he's almost lost an arm. Almost. Not going well. Now, you'll see there's just an obscene amount of enemies here as well. So, we're going to light them up with the pap. Come on, boy. There we go. The pap is actually doing a decent amount of damage okay so what's going to happen is we're going to get some trucks arrive I'm in position sir begin loading the materials I'm going for a little stroll right now he says he's going for a little stroll this is bad I actually think it's to do um I think it's to do with how fast 
through the map you are. Now, the saving grace is he is slow, but you cannot actually destroy him. You can get all of his parts down to, like, you know, basically broken, but he doesn't go down. Which is, you know, obviously pretty bad. Uh, right, let's... I think if we're lucky, we can destroy his legs and slow him down even further. But, at this point in the game, we can't actually aim at certain points. As our guys level up, we will get all sorts of different skills, so we can aim at specific body parts and that kind of stuff, which is really good, but we're not there yet. There we go. Not bad, Keith. Lighten them up. Right, we're probably going to want to have a quick look at the old tactical map here. Uh, I genuinely don't think that we can survive a hit from Driscoll. Yeah, see, we've got to burn all these guys. We don't need to worry about the truck that's loading everything up. We've just got to burn everybody else. So, if these guys peel off, we need to take these guys down. And we kind of need to aggro these two down as well. This mission is, it, yeah, it is a rough one. It really is. But that's okay. That's okay. Right. Hit him with a bone. Alright, not bad, JJ. Not bad. Would have been better if both of those connected. But, you know, we can't have everything. I guess. We've got an attacker. We've got a commander. Hit the commander with a Galvados. Let's do it. Come on, Fred. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, Fred's lighting them up like a fucking Christmas tree. That's what we like to see. Right. Me? Can you finish him off? We need him gone. Yeah, that wasn't great, actually. That's okay. Ooh, he's taking rounds like a champion. Right, here comes Driscoll. Yeah, this is going to be rough. Okay, well, at least all the other enemies are advancing. Which is kind of important. Come on, Paul. Ooh, Paul. Paul, you, you, you're in a bad way, brother. Alright, smoke grenade, that's fine. As far as I know, the only thing a smoke grenade does is uh, interferes with our accuracy, which is obviously bad, but I'd rather that than uh, take damage. So, right. Let's send the bone his way. Oh, again, not great. Really need to be doing better. All right, let's use Natalie next. This commander has to go. Alright, that wasn't bad. Alright, I'll take that. Natalie put in some fierce fire there. But she will become one of our like primary members. Right, commander. He needs to go. Get that Galvados paying its own way. Ooh, okay, I mean, respectable amount of damage. But we need more guys. Come on. Oh, God damn it. Rough. Rough. Okay. You know what? Light him up with the Galvados. Because we're kind of bottlenecked here. Ooh, nice! Okay, we didn't bring him down, but he is out of action. He's That commander is retreating. Hit him in the back with the Galvados. There we go. Not bad, me. Not bad. We'll take it. Ryuji. Light up the Missler. Ah, oh, Ryu, or Ryu G, I suppose his name is. <laughs> and then Paul just swiftly counterattacks and blows both of his arms off. Excellent. This is good. This might be the only level where we need to do a bit of save scumming because I am concerned at Driscoll. Now you can see these guys are retreating. This is bad because we have to chase them down. This is really bad. Alright. That's fine. We can get into close combat here. Yeah, that PAP 50 is doing a 
solid amount of damage. Right. Let's cross the border. We need to start working on these guys. Oh, that was awful. Awful. Um, who's this? Ryu. Cut this guy down, please. Actually, can you hit the guy that's... You can't quite hit the guy that's retreating. That's unfortunate. That's fine. Nice. Another one body bagged. Right, Natalie. I'm, ooh, I kind of want you to go a little bit further. Actually, that works. No, get a little bit further. Get as close as you can. Hit him with the Galvados. Oh, he's got like one health left. Oh, that's savage. Right, we need to start peeling some guys off. And reinforcing this area. Because this is getting nasty. And, of course, old Chad Thundercock is on his way. We really don't want to be in the way of Chad. Come on. Yes! Nice one, JJ. Put a hole straight through his torso. Ah, uh, right, let's move up. Come on. Can't quite get rounds on this guy. Damn it, we needed to as well. Paul's just flying off. Driscoll, you bastard! He's almost in range of us, actually. That is not good. Yeah, we're going to take some punishment here. Oof. Okay. We leveled, which is fine. Right, defend yourself. Uh, that was not a great counterattack, but it is what it is. Yeah, they're all retreating. This is the problem. Ooh, not great. All materials loaded and secured, sir. And I was only getting started. Take the materials to safety. I'll take care of the rest. Right. This is fine. What I might have to do is use a repair. That body is getting a little bit too damaged for my liking. Alright, let's start moving this way. I don't like it. I feel like we're wasting a lot of time. But it is what it is. Okay, so Keith, you can sling some rockets. So you're a missler. These two are missilers. We need to take out that commander that's trying to escape. Get to there. Get in rocket range. End him. Yes! <laughs> Not bad. We'll take it. Right, JJ, I need you in the action. In the thick of it. I want you to sling some missiles at the sky. You're almost dry as well. That's okay. As long as you can make them count, that's okay. Right, everybody peel off. I think we're not doing an awful job here, to be honest. Uh, it's, yeah, it's going to get rough as soon as our friend arrives. And he is, oh, he's here. Hello. And that's the end of Paul. I shall be redeemed. Yes, you shall. The Empire remembers all who fight for her. Uh, okay, so... Oh, nice. I would say that doesn't happen too often, the AI missing, but it, it does. Oh, that was some good, solid damage there. Nice, they're actually... coming back to us. Yeah, that grenade launcher, they seem like good weapons, but they have awful accuracy. Um, right, I'm going to peel up here because... We've got to get to work on these guys. We have to bring these guys down. All right, not bad. Oh, we've lost legs, which actually is worse than you think. Because we need these legs to run away. You 
We don't have the luxury of time afforded to us to allow you to miss your shots. Ah, damn, he's bingo missiles. Are you? No, you're not. We just got a little bit too close, that's all. Alright, that's fine. Hit him with the missiles. I know it's kind of a waste, but we need these guys gone. And that is a delicious amount of XP as well. Perfect. And we're getting a nice rocket launcher for that as well. Right, Keith. Make it happen. Bring him down. Come on. Ugh, not fantastic, but... Alright. Yeah, it's not the the attackers that I'm worried about. Hit the missiler. Oh, ho, ho, ho. not bad, JJ. Not bad. Right. Fred, I'm going to need you to get up there, brother. And hit that commander. And hit him, you did. Jesus. You really knocked him around. Can we get another? Ah, uh, just not quite in range. That's unfortunate. Right, we're going to have to start making tactical retreats here. Ooh, Frederick took some nasty damage there. Go with the pap. Alright, that'll do. We're going to have to start retreating. Damn it. Oh, that's rough. Okay. Tactical retreating. Withdraw. Hit him with the missiles on the retreat, though. I mean, he's basically useless now, but... That's still not good enough. Um, where are we? Right. Can we get in a position where we can launch some rockets? No, that's not, not really, but we can if we move up to this position. We can hit the commander. Make it happen. Oh, disabled. But, as nice as that disabled, that was, we need to get the kills. Disabling them is fine. Do you not have any? You do have missiles, do you? Right, let's just pull back. Body. Take him out. Come on. Ah, oh, dude. Come on. You're breaking my balls here. Alright. Back off. Hit him with the bone. Yes. Not bad, JJ. Alright, two more enemies on the board. And then we're clear. I think we're clear. Right, you know what? Go straight for him. Go in heavy, hit him with the pap. Alright, that's okay. That's okay. And whilst you're lighting him up with the pap, me, Hua, can come in from behind and light him up with some rockets. Okay, not great, not what we we're looking for, but this is where things are going to get rough. So we're just going to guard. There's no point fighting back against Driscoll. Keith's done. I'm okay, I'm okay. No, I'm not. Yep. This is prob a problem. Going with the Pat 50 again. He's done. Okay. This is about to turn into a shit show. Unless. See, if Titan goes down or if Roid goes down, it's all over. Losing Keith is fine. I would have liked to have done it without losing anybody, which is actually not that hard. Uh, but it is what it is. Let's just make a safety save here. And hope that we've got the firepower. Yeah, we have. And we got a Husky Mark III arm, which ain't great. 
We haven't suffered any irrecoverable losses, but I think we've overstayed our welcome. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, even if you level yourself up to maximum, you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Driscoll just about um, by playing loads of New Game Pluses and whatnot. Uh, but you, you, you'll get him down to zero health, but he won't die. It's no use. Everything's burnt to ash. Me. Can you tell me anything you remember about Karen? Or May. I guess it's May, actually. May. What did you talk about? Well, Karen would always talk about you. She said she regretted joining the army, but... I probably shouldn't have joined the army. I know it's important to do your part to defend your homeland, but it doesn't feel right here on Hoffman. I don't know what it is, but... I think this island deserves better. But if I hadn't joined, I wouldn't have made the friends I have, and worse, I wouldn't have met you. Royd, after we get married, let's build a house here. I fell in love with this island the first time I set foot here. So much life and hope. You wouldn't think they fought a war here 20 years ago. Yeah, pretty, pretty harsh stuff. Um, I am slightly concerned at looking over at my screen. It's saying um, we've only recorded six minutes. Uh -huh. I don't know what that's about. This is Rabbit 1. I've reached the recon point. Don't worry, Royd. I'll be fine. Rabbit 1, commencing recon. I can't believe that this isn't right. This isn't right. Yeah, that's where Karen died a year ago. Hmm. Karen. I wonder what it's like to be loved so much. Did you say something? N no, nothing. Ooh. I don't think that was nothing, Karen. Right, so let's take a little look at our kill bonus here. Very nice. We did lose Keith which cost us 440 to repair. The repair bill's not too bad, but you'll see we didn't get a mission reward either because technically we weren't sent on a mission. <clears throat> We're insubordinate, but that's okay. Now that's, we're back at Grey Rock. Me, uh, May, I have to look for a hacker friend of mine. I'll be right back. A hacker? What do you need a hacker for? It's personal. See ya. Royd, Colonel Olsen has just arrived here as well. He wants you to report to him ASAP at his office in the military ward. Yeah, we're probably in trouble. Be glad you're not in the army anymore. You deserve a court-martial for that stunt you pulled. Lucky for you, General Blakewood has given me specific orders to let this little incident slide. There's still some time until your next assignment, but you better stay in town till then. Yes, boss. Right, um, I'm going to end this video here. I need to go find out why we've only recorded for 8 minutes and 18 seconds. That has me concerned. <laughs> uh, pretty concerned, because... Uh, I'm going to have to re-record the whole bloody thing, aren't I? And I might... have done a dumb and saved over my save. Arse! Alright, one second, guys. Well, I'll catch you in the next part if this even gets uploaded at all.